Since vapes are everywhere nowadays and it's really a mainstream problem and creates a lot of waste, I got the idea to build a backup battery bank out of an old vape. So the first step was to take it apart. With pliers I removed the top and the bottom side. And then I used a pencil to push the internals of the vape outside of the housing. And I got out of it one battery. So I took out another one and with those components I'm going to build a small backup battery bank with two batteries, each 400 milliamp hours, then a USB-C board, a full-sized USB-A to connect the charging cable to, and then I found on the internet a battery bank I see, the LEDs for the charging indication, here's the model number, and on the other side we can see where it gets connected. Here is a power button, voltage output, ground, battery, ground, and voltage input. And with all the components I'm going to build a small power bank. So first of all I used super glue to glue the two connectors on the back of the IC. Now I'm going to add the cables and solder everything together like this. So we have a small battery pack. In comparison here is a normal pencil, which should be enough for an emergency charging of a phone. So this is the fully done setup now. You can see I added the two batteries in parallel, connected it to the ground of the PCB and the battery in of the pins, then the charging adapter and the USB adapter. Now I plugged in the USB for charging and as you can see, it's fully charging. So after I was done with the rough layout, I used 123design, a super old software, but I'm way too stupid to learn something new, and designed a basic case, which I then 3D printed, and you can see this sped up here. And here is the finished print, don't mind the yellow brim, I was swapping out filament and was too lazy to remove it. Now we have a housing here with two pieces, here goes the USB and the USB-C, it's a bit fucked but whatever, let's see how it fits. Everything was fitting quite correct and then I plugged in a USB-C cable to see if it still works. It starts to charge and this is the lid and the lid fits exactly like this, fully pressed down everywhere. Like this, like this, oh, and in the back, of course, like so. Yeah, I mean, the cutouts are not perfectly fine. If we compare it with a ruler, you can see the size is roughly six centimeters times three centimeters times, yeah, 15, something like this. And also with the connection of the lid, you can see like a charging indicator. And then for the final test, I have my phone here with a capacity of 93% and then I have my device here. I made a cutout for the coil to fit better. And if we connect the phone, the LED indicators came on and it starts to charge. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a comment and a like if you liked it and see you soon.